FileZilla Pro Series. In this video, we'll teach you how to enable logging with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to enable logging with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. While we use S3, the instructions work also with all the other supported protocols. To learn how to configure connections with other protocols, watch the other tutorials you find in the video description. Launch FileZilla or FileZilla Pro. In the message view, FileZilla shows the events of the connection. To see more details, choose the Show Detailed Log option. The log can help you identify and correct problems in your connection. You can copy the contents of the message view to the clipboard. Please note that it is limited to a finite number of lines. However, for a large volume of events, you may want to save them to a file. Open FileZilla Settings. Choose Logging. With this option, FileZilla adds a timestamp to all events. Check this option to save the events to a file. Choose where the log file will be stored. You have to choose a directory where you have the permissions to save, otherwise a warning message is shown. You may want to limit the size of the file to prevent the file increase indefinitely. When the file reaches the size, a new log file is created and the old one is renamed. You can also increase the level of details shown in the message view and in the log file. Keep in mind that increasing the level also increases the amount of logged information and affects the performance. Increase the level only if requested. In this video, you learned how to enable logging with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. FileZilla Pro is fast and reliable. Plus, it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, and WebDAV. Are your website files ready to go? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you at the next video of the FileZilla Pro series.